welcome to the course on women and youth empowerment in agriculture. This course is divided into five modules, but the primary objectives of the course is to ensure that capacity is built on issues that have to do with the empowerment of women and youth in agriculture so that Africa's agriculture can begin to fulfill its role and mandate for the countries in the continent. During this course, you shall be introduced on the rules of agriculture in rural and economic development for the empowerment of women and youth. You shall also be provided with knowledge on women and youth as concepts for community and agricultural development. And we shall also provide you with a thorough understanding of the problems and policies for agricultural development with options for empowering women and youth. Finally, in the course, we shall provide you with knowledge on the strategies, techniques, and methods for modernizing agriculture so that women and youth can begin to fulfill their roles within the agricultural sector. The five modules that we shall cover include module one, the role of agriculture in rural and economic development. Here, we shall look at growth, agricultural growth, economic growth, and economic development as concepts, what they actually do mean, and how agriculture can fulfill its role in contributing to economic growth and hence overall development. Then we shall also examine the sustainable development goals, which came from the Millennium Development Goals. Still in mode one, we shall be able to look at the structure of African agriculture, as well as capital transfer, access to credit, and other opportunities that will allow women and youth to access resources to grow agriculture within countries in the continent. In module two, we are going to look at women and youth as concepts for community and agricultural development. Here, we shall x-ray on gender and development, then look at elements that are taken into consideration in gen gender mistreatment, as well as look at strategies and techniques in which we can engender agriculture. And finally, in module two, we shall look at the rules and relations of women and youth in agricultural production. In module three, we shall examine the problems and policies for agricultural development. What are the options? What are the challenges for empowering women and youth in the African agricultural sector? Here, we shall examine issues that deal with rural industrialization, rural urban migration, rural human capital formation, infrastructural challenges, mechanization, investments and national incentives for rural and agricultural development, as well as look at some exogenous challenges such as climate change and conflicts that seem to affect African agriculture. In module four, we will settle on job creation and employment for women and youth. What kinds of employment are opened to women and youth? Permanent employment, non-permanent employment, decent formal employment, indecent informal employment. And then we examine the agricultural investments and productivity capacity, which can be enhanced for job creation within the agricultural sector. Again, in module four, we shall look at policies influencing investments in agriculture, because to ensure that agriculture meets its mandate and begins to create jobs, policies should prioritize and promote agricultural investments. Notwithstanding, when you have investments, you also have to be aware of uncertainty and risks surrounding the business environment. We shall therefore also examine uncertainty and risks, whether these are political risks, market risks, or environmental risks that affect agricultural investments. And the last module, module five, is on strategies for modernizing agriculture to empower women and youth. Here, we shall examine the institutions and institutional change. We shall also look at rural markets and price policy and incentives, as well as farm and non-farm labor markets, how these can be opened up 
for access to women and youth. We shall also look at technology and technological change, as well as agricultural entrepreneurship with its capacity to attract youth into the modern side of agriculture. In some parts of our continent, agriculture is now being referred to as green gold. Therefore, we have to build, also look at strategies to enhance capacity in agricultural entrepreneurship. Then we look at green revolution. What can Africa do to latch on on green revolution so that it fulfills its role in the continent as it did in Asia? We also look at agricultural biotechnology as well as digital revolution. This is a time for the African youth. This is a time for digital revolution. Agriculture is the engine and live wire of the continent and the African continent has some promise. Therefore, agriculture and the fourth industrial revolution is about ICTs, things like machine to machine communication, internet of things, you know, um, use of drones, et cetera, et cetera, to enhance and improve on the agricultural sector. So we, we shall zero in, zero in on that. It is our expectation that when we finish this course, participants will be empowered on strategies, techniques, and skills which can be used to enhance the contribution, the participation of men, women, boys, and girls in the agricultural sector. This course is being delivered asynchronously, meaning that the, you, the participants, you have your time, you, you learn at your own pace, you follow the materials at your own pace. However, we count on you to be willing learners. Willing learners means that you are going to download the, the PowerPoint materials and the lecture narratives which we have produced for you. We expect you to take part in the discussion board and respond also to issues that have been raised by other course participants. We expect to, to see a vibrant, engaging, you know, intellectually interesting um, exchange within this period. So you are welcome, feel free and enjoy yourself in this course. Thank you.